Hey guys, and welcome to Animal Crossing tutorial, how to create infinite profit using the turnips. So this involves time skipping. If you don't want to time skip, then you're probably only going to be able to do this once per week. But if you are time skipping, then perfect, because it's just going to save you a shitload of time if you want money. So the first thing you want to do is head straight to your settings and change your date and time off of sync and basically set it to the nearest Sunday. For me, it was the, the 19th of April. So I changed it to the 19th of April. I actually changed it to the 20th in the video because I was already on Sunday. Um, so here, and you're gonna find Daisy May walking around somewhere on your island. She'll only be there on Sundays and she'll be selling turnips for a random price every time. So I've, she's selling them here for 94 bells per turnip. I'm gonna buy the complete maximum. Like I'm gonna fill up my whole inventory or at least until all my money runs out. I actually started this when I only had 50,000 bells. And then using Discord to find someone whose island is currently selling or buying turnips actually for a higher price than what I purchased it for. So I found someone whose island is selling it for 214 or 204. I actually can't remember. It was like somewhere in the 200s and that's double profit for me. Okay, it's not amazing. There's some islands there that can you know, that they'll buy the turnips for like 500 apiece. There you'll become rich like in the millions in, in like seconds flat. But if you can find a friend who literally does this, you can literally stay on Sunday on your island, you know, travel to their island, do some trades, anything that they need, if they need special flowers, certain items. Here we're trading different color street lamps, which is kind of weird. But, you know, like, if we just made like a fair trade. I also tipped him a few bells as thanks. So I took all my turnips, went to the Nook's Cranny here, and I basically sold them all for a fortune. And I did this a few times. Every time I went back to my island, I would spend all the money that I just gained, buy more turnips, travel back to his island, sell all the turnips, and basically double profit. It basically doubles my money every single time. So double 50k to like 100k to 200k to 400k to basically 800,000. Like, well, essentially, as much as my inventory could, could manage, which is a really insane way to make profit, is basically have a friend who has an island who's on a day that has the Nook's Cranny selling or buying the, the turnips at a very high price, and then you basically stay on Sunday and just farm that shit, just go back and forward, just back and forward, selling it, making double profit. You can share the profits with your friend so that you're both like benefiting from this, which would actually make it very... like beneficial for both of you. So if you have a friend who you're playing this game with, this is actually a perfect strategy to get rich, like very quickly because it's, it's literally effortless. The only thing is you need a friend. I paid off my loan on my house, which is pretty cool. I finished my bridge. I'm happy. <laughs> I paid that fucking bridge off because, uh, man, being a debt in this game is just harsh, dude. Like it, it, it gate, it gates you so, so immensely. And I'm just like, I want to just build an amazing island and just, I'm going to do this by selling turnips. <laughs> At least as much as I need for, for like now. I just still, I'm still working my way up there. I still got a lot of stuff to pay off. I still have to work my way up the food chain. I actually have to get my new house, which is a 700k loan, and I got to pay that off. So like, I, I actually don't even have enough for that, even though I've just made a shitload of bells doing this. I hope this was beneficial to you guys, and I'll see you guys in a future Animal Crossing video. Thanks for watching.